All right, so practice plan number five. We just finished the catch routine. We finished our on-knee glove work. We finished our base running, which is pretty fun because we're doing a bunch of different elements on the bases today. But now we get to split up into our defense. We got four stations. So what we're going to do, the first station is going to be first base picks. I want to have the first base picks, though, in foul territory around third base so we can keep first base wide open for some throws that we're going to be making in our other stations. So think of it somewhere in foul territory over around third base. Now what we're doing here is we are doing three picks per person. So coach can either throw these or if you're kind of light on the coaches, have one of the first basemen or one of the people that are over there uh, just kind of throw some picks. Be at least 30 feet away, I would say closer to 40, 45 feet, uh, just to give enough reaction time for the first baseman to make a decision. So the first one that you're gonna throw, the first short hop you're gonna throw is gonna be to the backhand. So the, the, the first baseman's gonna be on the bag, pretend this is the bag right here. We're gonna go here, boom, and really work on the backhand. Then the next one's gonna be to this side, and we're gonna work here. And then finally, the third one is gonna be directly at the first baseman. They have to make a decision if they're going to bring their, bring their uh, left foot to the outside and go backhand, or if they're gonna go this way and go forehand. Each first baseman, kind of has their preference on which side they like better. So this allows them to kind of figure it out. Uh, so go three at a time, rotate, go to the next person. All right, the second rotation, the second station is going to be ground balls at second base. So we're gonna have a coach back at home plate hitting ground balls to the second baseman. We can have a net at second base, we can have a coach at second base, or we can have an extra one of the second basemen's taking these throws and placing it in the bucket. There are four types of feeds at second base, the underhand, the underhand flip, the power feed, the jump throw, and the spin throw. You can work through all four of them. You can work on one or two of them, just kind of however you want to do it. Uh, so we're doing double play feeds for the second baseman. Station number three is at shortstop. So we're gonna have firm ground balls to the shortstop. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to make hopefully practice a little bit more challenging than the game. Okay, we want the game, when the game actually happens, to feel easier than practice. And so, especially if our players are starting to get comfortable, we're starting to see more improvement made, let's start to hit the ball a little harder at them. All right, not, we're not just trying to drill balls at them, but we're trying to make things a little bit uncomfortable. Now, expect them to, to miss some balls, expect maybe a little frustration, that's gonna be that's gonna happen as well, but let's try to catch these balls and we're gonna throw the ball across to first base. A way to kind of uh, bring up the morale or just have some fun at the end is do a do maybe a minute, minute and a half, or even two or three slow rollers at the very end where they have to catch it and make throws across. It's funny how slow rollers kind of bring the morale up of a group. So especially if you're challenging a group with some harder ground balls, finish with some slow rollers. That's a great way to uh, finish it up. And then finally, our fourth station is gonna be tags at third base. So we're gonna have our third baseman's over there. We can have a, a coach halfway between home plate and third base and just kind of throw them balls where they have to let the ball travel, catch and tag. The coach can also move to the outfield or kind of like deep shortstop and throw balls in to simulate a ball coming from the outfield. Again, they have to catch and tag. At third base from a catcher, at the higher levels, I like straddling. But then at the lower levels, I like to be in front. That's a total personal preference for you, coach. You make that decision on that one. I really don't think there's a right or wrong way, especially for this youth level that we're talking about right now. Then finally, after those, sta those stations are three and a half to four minutes a piece. After that, we are gonna go into team defense, seven to 12 minutes of team defense. We're gonna split up. We're gonna have every position covered, third, short, second, and first. And we're basically just going through uh, a modified infield. So we're gonna go third to first, short to first, second to first, ground ball to first, touch the bag. He can throw it to second, he can throw it to third, whatever you want, coach. We're gonna do that. Let's get a lot of those. Let's really work on that. There's no runner. Let's really focus on that, that fielding, and making accurate throws. After that, let's do some double plays. 5-4-3, 6-4-3, 4-6-3, 3-6-3, okay? And then after that, we can finish with some slow rollers. There's no runner, take your time. I really wanna emphasize doing things correctly. And also, this is a really good, I think the players at this point, practice number five, really need to start to get used to having one coach hit one ground ball and all his other teammates are watching that player make a play. That's what happens in a game. You need to kind of start to work on that 
in practice. So I think it's a very important element to practice is getting used to being almost the center of focus on a ball put in play. So that's the practice plan. There's a lot of good elements in here, a lot of good skill development. Have some fun with this one.